This video is about graphing quadratics from vertex form. When graphed on the coordinate plane, a quadratic function makes a U shape called a parabola. The vertex form of a quadratic function is y equals a times the quantity of x minus h squared plus k. Now you might have seen a quadratic function before in standard form, which is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. This is just written in a different form, and it's a little more helpful for graphing if it's given to you in this form. So the important key points from this formula are to know that a is this number that's in front of the parentheses, and it still determines whether the parabola is going to be opening up like a smiley face or upside down like a frown. So because it's positive, it tells us that our u or a parabola is going to be opening upward. We have h, which is the number inside the parentheses with x, and it's always the opposite of what you see. So if it says x minus 1, your h value is positive. That's because there's already a minus sign in the formula. Then our k value is exactly what you see added outside the parentheses, which is positive 3. And what's important to know is that the vertex of your u, which is that central point, either the low point or the high point of the parabola, is located at h comma k. That is your vertex right there, and it saves you from having to use the vertex formula to find the vertex. So in this next example, we have a being negative 1 half, which tells us that our parabola will be concave down, like a frowny face. And our h value is negative 1. It's the opposite of what we see in the parentheses with x. Our k value, because there is none, is 0. So our vertex would be located at negative 1, 0. That would be the first point on our parabola when we were going to go graph it. So here we're asked to graph this function, showing at least five points, including the vertex. The vertex is the easiest point to find. It's hk, and we're looking at it right there in the equation. So we find negative 2, 5 and plot it. There's our vertex. We know this parabola is going to be opening downward, concave down, because it's got a negative a value. But to find the other points, I still do need to make a table of values. I need to pick two points that are on the left of my vertex, two points that are on the right. Because our vertex is a whole number and I'm using the next, the next two whole numbers on my table, I will get symmetry here. So after I plug in the 3, let's see, if I plug in 3, I'm going to get 4 and 3 fourths. If I plug in the negative 4, I'm going to get 4. And then I'm going to get symmetrical points here when I plug in the negative 1 and the 0. I get the same two coordinates. So that my u ends up being symmetrical around the vertex. I'm going to go to negative 3 and find this point, negative 4 and find this point, negative 1 and 0, 4. This is a very wide, gently sloping u. When you connect the dots, really try to make it a smooth curve. And if you're asked to draw your axis of symmetry, it goes right through the vertex. It's a line that means it's a line that cuts your parabola right in half. So the left side and the right side are mirror images of each other. And don't forget to label your key points. We have the vertex at negative 2, 5. We have the y-intercept at 0, 4. And it's also good to label your axis of symmetry. x equals negative 2. And complete the analysis of that function. So you'll often be asked all these questions about the function. What is its concavity? Because it opened downward, we say that it is concave down. Coordinates of the vertex were negative 2, 5. Axis of symmetry was located at x equals negative 2. You have to write that as an equation of a vertical line. Coordinates of the y-intercept were 0, 4. If you don't know it from your table, you can always plug in 0 and find it, find the y value that goes with it. To be symmetrical to the y-intercept, we need to cross over the axis of symmetry by the same number of units. So to get from 0 to negative 2, we've gone to the left 2 units. We're going to go to the left 2 more units and get negative 4 as our x-coordinate. And it'll have the same y-coordinate as the y-intercept since it's symmetrical. And to write the function in standard form, here we have a little bit of work to do. Given to us in standard form, I'm going to take that x plus 2, which is squared, and write it twice, because that's what the squared means. Then I'm going to multiply x plus 2 times x plus 2. I'm going to leave this negative 1 fourth out front for now. When I do x plus 2 times x plus 2, x, it's like distributing, right? x times x, and x times 2, and then 2 times the x, and 2 times the 2. And you end up with x squared plus 4x plus 4. Now I can distribute my one my negative one fourth. Put 
combine the like terms, the constant terms that I have there at the end. And here's the function written in standard form, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And that is all.